What is Pythagoras Theorem? In this video, I will show you everything you need to know about Pythagoras Theorem and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you would like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first part of Pythagoras Theorem. The first part of Pythagoras Theorem is to determine and define the hypotenuse. So bear in mind that Pythagoras Theorem is only for right angle triangle or I call it right triangle. So let's look here. So this is a right triangle, okay? So the 90 degrees right angle is over here and then the theta, which is the angle, is over here. So where is hypotenuse? So hypotenuse is the longer side of a triangle. So this is the longer side, so I label it as hypotenuse. Okay? And then this side is called the adjacent side. So adjacent side means the side which is next to the angle. And then, there's one more side, which is the opposite side. So this is the opposite side. Why is it the opposite side? It's because it's opposite of the angle. Okay, the hypotenuse is the longer side and also it's opposite the right angle. Okay, so in short form, I'm going to label this as H, this as A, and this as O. Okay, in this chapter, you just need to memorize one important formula. And what is that formula? So that formula is C square equals to A square plus B square. This is to find the length of the sides. Okay, so it's very easy. So make sure that the C, which is the hypotenuse, okay, is over on the left hand side. So this is the hypotenuse, therefore, this is actually my C, okay? And then my A and B can be here or here, okay? So I put this as A and this as B, okay? And then the answer will be in length, okay? Whether it's cm or meter. So C square equals to A square plus B square, okay? What if I would just want to find C? So it's actually very easy, okay? If I want to find C, so C will be, so this square, I move it to the right hand side. So it become one big square root. So A square plus B square. That's my C. Okay? If I want to find A, so how? Very easy. So the A is over here. So I need to move this over. So it become C square minus B square equals to A square. So in order to find A, it's actually very simple. This two shift over, okay, this square shift will become square root of the whole thing. So therefore, A is equal to C square minus B square, whole thing square root. Okay, let's look at the next part. Let's take a look at this question. Determine whether a triangle is a right angle triangle or not. So given the questions A and B, okay, so we have to see whether it's a right angle triangle or not. So for this, first thing is to find the hypotenuse. So, the hypotenuse for this question is over here, okay, H. Okay, whereas for B, the hypotenuse is 10 cm because it's a longer side. Okay, and then next, we're going to sub into the formula, which is C square equals to A square plus B square. Okay, so next, we're going to label the A, B and C. So, the A will be here, then B will be here. Okay, and then C will be for hypotenuse. So I label it here C, okay? And then for this, this will be the A and this will be the B, okay? So now I'm going to substitute the A and B values into here to see whether it matches with the value of C square or not. So if they match, it means that it's proven that it's a right angle triangle. Okay, so I'm going to solve this. I'm going to find the value of a square plus b square. So a, a is 8. So 8 square plus b is 15. So 15 square. So equals 64 plus 225. Okay? And then when we add up together, is 200 and 
89. Okay, next we're going to find the value of c squared. So c squared is, so c is 17. So 17 squared and it's 289. So it matches, okay, because you see you compare 289 and 289. So it's proven that it is a right angle triangle, okay? So therefore, <coughs> it is a right angled triangle. Okay? Now, let's prove B, okay? So, we are going to use the same formula which is C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. So, C squared equals to A squared plus B squared, okay? So, we use the same way, we find the value of A squared plus B squared, okay? So, A squared plus B squared equals to, so the A is 5, so 5 squared plus the value of B is 8, so 8 squared, okay, 8 squared, so equals to 25 plus 64. So 25 plus 64 would be, so here is 989. Okay, and next we're going to find the value of c squared. So c squared is, so 10 squared. So it's going to be my c. So this is the c, yeah? c. So c squared would be 10 squared. Okay, and what is 10 squared? 10 times 10 is 100. Okay, you see. They don't match. 89 is not equal to 100. It means that C square is not equal to A square plus B square. Okay? Therefore, it's not a right angle triangle. So, therefore, it is not a right angled triangle. Okay? Let me tell you a secret. But promise me you don't tell anyone, okay? The secret is Pythagorean triple. So if you know the Pythagorean triple, you don't even have to show the working and you can find the missing side easily. So it's like being a psychic. For example, if the triangle has three, four, and then one more, there'll be five. So this is called Pythagorean triple, whereby you just need to memorize the three numbers, which is the three sides of a right angle triangle. Another example besides 3, 4, 5 will be 5, 12, 13, 6, 8, 10, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, 17, 9, 12, 15. So these are the most common Pythagorean triples that commonly ask in exams. So if you can memorize them all, it will also help you in the chapter Trigonometry. Okay? So I'm going to list it on the board now so that you can memorize it by heart and then you can become a psychic. Okay? So the first triple will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 5, 12, 13, 7, 24, 25, 8, 15, and 17, 9, 12, and 15. Okay? So these are the most common Pythagorean triples that are commonly asked in exams. Okay? And the longest side will be the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle. Okay? So let's look at the next three examples. So question number one. The diagram above shows a right angle triangle. Find the value of x. So first of all, I'm going to sketch the triangle over here. So this is a right angle triangle with 90 degree. So 
This is the longer side, which is the hypotenuse. I label as C, so C equals to 10 cm. And then B will be 8 cm. And then this A is equals to X. Okay? So next, we're going to substitute all these values into this formula, which is C square equals to A square plus B square. So C is 10, so 10 square equals to A is X, so X square. And plus B is 8, so 8 square. So 10 square is 100 equals to X square plus 8 square is 64. Next, I'm going to transfer this 64 over to the left hand side and minus. So 100 minus 64 equals to X square. So 100 minus 64 is 36 equals to X square. Next, I'm going to move this square over to the left hand side, become square root of 36 equals to x <coughs> and then square root of 36 is 6. So therefore, x is equals to 6 cm. So that is the final answer. For question number 2, in the diagram above, PQRS is a rectangle. Calculate the perimeter of the shaded region. So, the shaded region is over here. Okay, so this is PQRS, and then PQ is the same as SR, which is 12 cm. Okay, so in order to find the perimeter of the shaded region, we need to find PT, then only we find ST. Okay, so in order to find PT, we're going to use Pythagoras theorem. So this triangle, I'm going to take it out so it's easy for us to see. You can see clearly the length, this is 12 cm and this is 13 cm. Okay, so I'm going to find PT by using Pythagoras theorem. So to find PT, okay, this will be a label as C. Okay, this one I label as B and this I label as A. And the formula is C square equals to A square plus B square. So C is 13, C, 13 square equals to A, which is A square, and then B is 12 square. Okay, so this is 169, A square plus 12 square is 144. So this one move over, become minus 169 minus 144 equals to A square. And then 169 minus 144 is 25 equals to A square. So therefore, A is square root of 25, which means A is 5 cm. So we have here 5 cm, okay? And then we know that PS is equal to QR. So QR is 15. So therefore, to find TS, we're going to use 15 minus 5, okay? So I'm going to write it over here. So TS or ST, okay, it doesn't matter. So equals to 15 cm minus 5, which is 10 cm. Okay, so this is 10 cm. So to find the perimeter of the shaded region, we're going to add, add up all the values here. Okay, which is 15 plus 13 plus 10 plus 12. So perimeter is 15 plus 13 plus 10 plus 12. Okay, and the total is 50 cm. So that's the final answer. Okay, to solve this question, first of all, I already sketched a drawing here, so it looks like a trapezium. So whenever you see a trapezium, you can actually divide it into two parts, which is a right angle triangle on top and the bottom will be a rectangle. So here the measurements will be 5 meters, okay, and then here is 8 meters, but because this is 5 meters, therefore here is 3 meters, and then here is 15 meters, because this is 15 meters, so therefore here is 15 meters, okay, because it's a rectangle. And then this will be the rope. So to find the length of the rope, we're going to use Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to draw this triangle, okay, this triangle into here, so it'll be easy for us to see the measurements. So here is 15 meters, here is 3 meters, and here is the rope, okay? So this is the hypotenuse. Next, I'm going to label A, B, and C. So here will be the C because it's a longer side. So here will be, I put as A, and here I put as B, okay? So I'm going to put it into the formula, which is C squared equals to A squared plus B squared. 
okay so the C I just leave it as C okay because it's the length of the rope which is unknown then A is 15 meters which is 15 square plus and B is 3 so 3 square so equals to 15 square is 225 plus 3 square is 9 so C square is equals to 225 plus 9 which is 234 so to find C I'm going to shift this square over to the right hand side it becomes square root of 234 and the answer is 15.30 meters and this is the answer in two decimal places well that's all for now stay tuned to my next video which is how to solve hot questions involving Pythagoras theorem coming up soon bye guys